Hello everyone, this is the Super Week Maker and today I'm making another video of another order and this time is a male toupee. Uh, so far I have said no to male toupee orders because of, an, of a, a number of reasons. Uh, the most important reason is that the female thinks if you have a topper it has long hair and it can, it can literally cover your own hair. So it doesn't. the consistency doesn't have to be perfect, 100%. Um, also, if, you, if the hair on the top, on the topper, is not exactly identical to the lower hair, you still don't have a problem because women usually just dye their hair. They have like low lights and high lights. So even if you have a different color, it's not going to look really bad. And if you have a different texture, you can just blend the hair and brush it and do this and that, and it's gonna, mm, it's gonna look good. But for for males. It's very important for you because you have really short hair and you have your own hair in the back, in the lower areas, and they have a different piece on top. It's extremely important to have the correct density, which uh, means that you really need to be close to that person in order to be able to see what you're doing and run some samples first before you proceed with the real thing. And also very important, it's the color mats. Now here's what men, uh, naturally don't always have the especially for men with uh, who are older they might have a pattern like they might have like white hair here a little darker on the lower parts it's like there are males who are totally like zebras so why can't a toupee not be very good first of all you need to have uh, the same hair type if the person has really fine hair the toupee cannot have really thick hair and vice versa but the most important thing is that the, the base of the color needs to be the same. It doesn't matter if in, in your temples you have more gray hair than in the back. So it doesn't have to be identical. But the gray hair means, the salt and pepper means that you have white hair and also you have a darker base. This darker base needs to be identical to the lower part of the hair. You cannot have like one B hair here, which is black. And here have a salt and pepper, for example, like one B with white salt and pepper, and up here having like a number four salt and pepper. It's not gonna look the same. It's not gonna look identical to the lower part, and it's gonna look like it's a different thing. So you wanna have much better uh, fitting of the colors, the texture, the density. Everything has to be the same. So why did I say yes to this person? Because he seemed to know to know exactly what he wants. Uh, he has this amazingly nice. Um, head mold which I plan to uh, kind of copy because the really dark area is going to make it super uh, difficult for me to ventilate and the other reason is that he also knew exactly what he wanted I'm going to go through this in a moment he also sent his own hair which is uh, thin European hair which matches his own texture and his own color so I don't take any responsibility for the hair, hair color and the hair texture it's all his problem. He also sent this lace, which turned out to be Swiss denier 40 lace, which is very good for what we want to do. And I also made a disclaimer to this person that I'm going to make it. He wants to be ordering from me from now on to be a returning customer. But I told him that if you um, if you really want to, to take this, I'm going to have the, your first piece might not be exactly what you wanted density wise. OK, because when you say like it says like for example light density uh, extra light density in the blue and ultra light in the front okay what but how do i know exactly if this light density is going to be light enough or thick enough for you okay so it has to be a little bit like when he takes it in his hands he's going to be able to tell me that you know what the perimeter the red area i wish it was a, it was a little lighter because you didn't make it light enough or i wish it was a little thicker because it was like too light and everything else is going to be able to tell me and from the next order I'm going to be able to make something uh, that will match perfect for his um, preferences. So with all the disclaimers and all that we agreed upon uh, I'm going to proceed with making this so I'm going to have to take everything out I'm going to show you the hair let me just see what we have here he um, brought all this with a notice what he says is that it's kind of weird that this hair doesn't seem to have scales okay so when i take it backwards it doesn't seem to have any problem going backwards because he told me that this hair is super expensive 
maybe they have removed the scales i don't know because i can just take it backwards and doesn't really seem to have a huge problem so he want this is super long so what he said is that i should just bend it in half like so cut it over here and the curly hair should be used in the front while this hair should be used in the back so i'm gonna make sure that i have enough hair this is like too much hair for the toupee and i have a second one so yeah i'm pretty sure this is gonna be enough for at least three maybe even four uh pieces because this is a lot of hair you can see that it's so much hair so yeah it doesn't smell bad and i also have he sent me this lace he started he got swiss lace and wanted to practice and he practiced on that this is real human hair so it's very easy for me to remove i can actually put some bleach over here and let it over bleach and it's gonna melt the hair so it's gonna be removed this is synthetic hair so i have to hand pick it out but i have plenty of lace to work uh for now here so i don't really have to deal with that i'm gonna deal with it later um, so I just realized that the curvature and everything just fits perfectly on my uh, head mold again because this was too small and this was also much smaller but also the curvature on this one is a little different like it's not a huge difference size wise but the curvature on my head was much more realistic because I'm a man and he's a man also so what I did is that I put the real thing underneath and it's impossible to ventilate with all this coloring going on so what I did is that I just placed and made a new cap so when I just remove that let me just remove it really fast for you So I'm gonna keep it somewhere else and when I put it back oh well it got some of the color oh my goodness so anyway I have the basic design over here it's a little tilted why is it tilted oh no that is tilted actually he didn't yeah this is a little offside but I'm gonna fix it a little bit he wants this to be a light density I'm gonna make it like that just to match this one Everything else is gonna be just the way he just drew it. And oh my god, why did I get so much color? I need to coat this with more tape because it, it sheds a lot of color. Anyway, I think it's good enough like that. And the color is underneath. So I can very easily remove it if I have to. And I just placed the lace over here. I made the folds, the inevitable folds and I sew them down and I was gonna I asked the person if you wanted me to have an outer fold in the back area in order for the lace to be a little more secure and not fray at all um, yeah of the back place if I had a fold it wouldn't fray for sure now it's gonna be a little bit more it's, it's gonna be open lace so just like the front so you never know exactly what's gonna happen how long it's gonna last but the person said that he didn't want any fault or anything only the necessary which is this 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 and this of course in order to ventilate i first have to uh work with the hair now the hair is about i'm gonna try to stretch it a little bit just to make sure that i have all the length it's about 16 to 17 inches the 17 inches ones are very fine in the end so i'm gonna say it's 17 inches and the person said that this is a little bit too long for uh the piece and what you want me to do is go to the middle the exact middle well let's do it in centimeters it's gonna be so much more accurate it's 42 43 42 centimeters so i'm gonna go to the middle which is 21 centimeters right here and i'm gonna make a cut and let me just fold it in half and see if it falls correctly yeah that's exactly in half so what i'm gonna do and in this case a lot of people have requested me to show what the, what is that one i'm a little shocked that people don't know what a drawing mat is there are a lot of videos out there that show exactly what it is so what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna put an elastic here because I need to make sure that everything will be kept when I cut the hair 
There will be some short, super short hair when I cut it that will be discarded, but who cares? I cannot ventilate them anyway. So let's just put an elastic right over here. So I just placed the elastic and I'm gonna fold it in half to see. It doesn't have to be like too perfect, but I'm gonna cut it over here. And what's gonna happen now is that this hair is gonna have a lot of uh, layering in the end, while this is gonna be a little bit more bulk because I'm gonna cut it like so. So let me just cut it over here. And since I'm gonna be starting from the back, I'm gonna remove that. And I'm gonna show you uh, how this is gonna be working, uh, what it does. Because a lot of time people just ask me these questions. Okay, this is the root area, it's very important because, yeah, this is a little bit too much of hair. So let me just put this. And I'm taking this out now. This is the cut that I made just now. And now this hair, this is the root and this is the end. What I'm gonna do is place it over here, spread it a little bit. Make sure that the hair goes inside. And then I'm gonna interlock. And now I can just pull hair from here like so and ventilate it and then the rest is going to be kept and I know that this is the root okay and this hair can be ventilated it's no uh, nothing like too weird it's the same thing with my bristle brush if you remember I can use that to club hair as well if I want to according to length so I just finished the perimeter where it has the light density I need to have extra light here and ultra fine here Okay, so the top part is already done and don't judge the, why do I have a knot here? Not just the knots here because they're still not bleached and this is single strand, single knot. It should be just perfect and this is quite light density, okay? And he wants uh, ultra light density here so, I run a small test on the hair to see if there it is. If the hair is 100% uh, virgin, but it t turns out that it's not 100% virgin, I had to leave it for like uh, 50 minutes, 50, not 15, 50 minutes to, to turn it a little paler. Like it does have a slight difference, but not big enough. And there are strands in there like, look at that. It looks like plastic hair. I don't know what the hell were they thinking. And I, when I was ventilating, I also saw a lot of really uh, thick black strands in there that were not bleachable that I removed. So, where do I have? Yeah, I have my uh, extra virgin, super fine, super expensive. What is that? Yeah, uh, the, the Slavic hair which is so fine and what I plan to do here is I'm gonna uh, blend a little bit of that hair with that hair because this is slightly lighter than that and while I ventilate I'm going to omit any super thick strand that I find from here and ventilate it all because I want uh, to make this seamless now this hair is extremely fine I don't know if he's gonna like the it, it's beautiful hair but it has to match your own hair if you don't have this kind of really fine hair it's not gonna look good on you and I do plan to have in the very outer part, like I'm gonna blend these, this and this hair for the most part of it. And in the super outer part here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be putting this hair because it's a baby fine and it's gonna make extremely nice edges. So what will happen is that when I bleach the knots, this hair is not gonna get too much lighter, but it's gonna get maybe light enough to that's all I can do for now. We're gonna have to change the hair for the next order. This hair is not too thin, not too fine, but it does look European enough. This is like super fine, super fine, and it might have a problem 
with him blending with his own hair. I'm gonna see what's gonna happen because this is the first time he's taking a piece from me. So we're gonna have to gamble a little bit on everything here. So it's over and I still have to bleach the knots. This is why I have it separated like that. This is the thick density, the light density. So, sorry, this is the light, this is the extra light and this is the ultra light. I'm gonna have to remove it from the mannequin head and bleach the knots. And I'm going to show you the result, obviously. And here it is, finished. This is the inside of the piece. And I have to say that I had to bleach the main area twice because that hair was super resistant. It was not uh, virgin. But I think it turned well. And on the next time that we make the same thing, I'm only going to be using my own Slavic hair, as we said. Um, the hair is looking very good. Let me just brush it gently. Um, it's actually more, no, like that. It's a little more curly than I thought it would be. And also he didn't know it was going to be that curly. And it might seem that it's a little bit too thinning for a head, but this is for a man, it's not for a woman. And he has, oops, he has a thinning head of hair, so he wanted this to be natural and kind of thinning. So, yeah, let me just... It's a little dumb, still a little wet. So that's how the front looks. Let me just separate. Oops. Let me just separate that for you. I have a mix between my hair and his hair. You can see that this super long hair is mine, and the hair that goes up to here is his hair. Uh, in the outer perimeter, like this amount, is just my hair, so the knots are gonna be totally invisible. The rest is gonna be like. Um, uh, a mixer between the two and then inner here we have only his hair we don't see his difference here but I can say that my hair is a little better just because it's super virgin it's a little finer than his hair and you can see the difference yeah you can see now that my hair is this hair and his hair is that hair which is shorter that's how I can know the difference uh, overall, I'm pretty happy. He is happy. He saw the photos. He said that he's in love with the photos. Uh, when he gets it close, uh, when he gets the piece and wears it, I'm sure he's gonna be in love with it. I don't know. As I said, I feel I initially I felt that this was gonna be like too thin, uh, but it turns out that maybe this is exactly what he wanted. You can see that if he wears that, it doesn't even look uh, like a thinning head. It actually looks pretty realistic, and in my opinion, it might look uh, like a, an, uh, a healthy head. Look at the peak, it's like amazing. So yeah, he said that he's gonna order more from me in the future, hopefully. <laughs> I like returning customers, and we're gonna be using just the Slavic hair from now on. This hair is too long for him, so he's gonna cut it, but we don't care. And it also seems to have a little bit of a curl pattern like so. So I did a second one. This time it's much thicker. It's about a month later than the previous one. I just didn't upload the video because I was waiting for him to get the piece. He wanted a second one already. And this time the density is almost double than the previous one because he has marked um, wrongly the, the... He said that he wanted the perimeter to be thin. He wanted this thin. Then he wanted this very thin and he wanted this ultra thin. So, you know, I did my thing and he realized that he actually wanted this natural density, not extremely thin. So I made this piece for him. Now you can see that it's very good. The density on this one is almost like a, a healthy head of hair. Nothing too thin, nothing too thick. It's on the medium thick uh, side. And he also liked the hairline area here. And he said that now he's comfortable with lowering his hairline because he has like, this is the peak and this is the temple, so this is very back. And he said that now with this piece, that the way that I make them, he, he is feeling comfortable with lowering his hairline. So he's gonna make a new outline, send it to me, and the next pieces that I'm gonna make him will be more, um, uh, a little more, you know, youthful in the hairline. So yeah, that's how it is. It has more hair now. And thanks for watching and ask me anything you want in the comment section.